so what I'm going to start out with today is uh, we're going to finish working on the ant. Uh, don't worry, you're you're not behind any videos. I am kind of doing this um, ad hoc. Um, I started working on this some time ago. It's just I need to go ahead and keep working on it. And I didn't record the first bit I did. But honestly, it's all going to fall into place about how I exactly uh, went about it. And I'll cover some of the details on how I did it, for instance. Um, so these arms are the base money arms. And then down here, I did use a, uh, a Dremel tool to create an extra set of armholes. I'll put those back in. Ah, at some point, I ain't going to deal with it right now. Let's go ahead and take that one out. Oh. Alright, so um, as you can see, there's the one I, I drilled. This is the basic one. You can tell the difference because you can see straight through the one I drilled. This one has a stopper on it. Um, if you buy the, uh, the, the, the ones from, like, China, the off-market ones, um, they'll probably either not allow you to detach the arms, or you'll be able to see straight through to the body like this one. So if yours looks a little bit different, that's why. Um, as far as the feet go, um, I just did the feet and kind of, just uh, made a little notch there for his uh, little pincher feet to match the way that I did the, the arms. So the way I did with the arms, I used the Dremel tool and just sawed straight down the middle of it. And then went back and filled it in with clay to give it like a rounded edge. But it's also got a space right there, so that's how I did that. Um, this all was, uh, essentially clay as far as the hat goes, uh, the, um, if you're new to, uh, sculpting, what you'll do is usually use a filler for, uh, big pieces, uh, like this, and for that I use just aluminum foil. So you make a ball, you put it here in the middle, and, uh, you just put your clay over top of it, and that's how you do that. Um, as far as the antenna go, uh, those are attached to the aluminum foil ball, and all those are, are paper clips. You can use armature wire if you want. Uh, I just, I needed a, a thicker gauge of armature wire and something that was a little bit more sturdy than armature wire. Um, as you can see, this doesn't really bend very easily. If I wanted to bend it, I could, uh, but I wanted it to be really stiff. It's a lot easier to work with at that point. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for that. And then, I mean, these are self-explanatory. You could have used um, armature wire on the pinchers here. Uh, I did not. I just went ahead and just built up a little by little uh, till the point I got to this. And... Uh, and then I sanded, I've already sanded the, the feet down, the hands, uh, the jowls. I haven't done the eyes yet, and I haven't sanded the top yet. So, you, I mean, that's the reason it kind of looks a little off-putting. I'll sand it down, and if need be, we can go back over with uh, some clay to touch up some pieces. Uh, this was a straw hat, so, I mean, it's going to be a little bit uneven and a little bit, you know different in areas so it's not totally um, disheveled at this point but yeah uh, what we're going to work on today I'm going to get a little band to go around the edge of the hat and I'm going to uh, do the antennas and if we got time I want to go ahead and start on the aphid that's going to accompany this guy um, uh, if not, that'll be the next video that I do, and let's get started. Alright, so to get started, we're going to put our gloves on. 
because uh, we are working with the epoxy sculpt and in order to do that uh, we don't want to come in contact with our skin with that too much uh, just because some of the chemicals in it uh, has been known to cause cancer so this is safe and sorry just a second there we go gloves on all right so now there's two pieces to the epoxy clay um, we're going to want to get equal parts the best thing that I found to do is just get a little ball of each make sure that both of them are roughly the same size we probably use a little bit more of a lighter gray all right we're good with that put the lid on set it over to the side all right so with this you just want to meet it like you would dough um, the way I do mine is I flatten it out into uh, both of them together like that um, another thing is you can just get you a, a little cup of water and just dip the tips of your fingers into the water and uh, put it on the clay and then we're just going to push it into each other like so Uh, once you're at that point, then you can start applying it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on the antenna here. If you start to notice that it's like sticking to your gloves really badly, just go ahead and dip your fingertips back in the water and then start reapplying the water to the, uh, to the clay. And I probably got too much clay on this antenna, so I'm gonna start from the bottom here and just work upwards, smoothing it out. Uh, here on the back, um, the wire's trying to come through, so we're just going to push it down on the wire more. So you get something like that. And if you start, if you notice that like there's little ruffles here, uh, if you just take, you, they make silicone tools that you can get that does it, or you can use your finger, just apply some water and just push down a little bit on it. And it doesn't have to be perfect because, I mean, we're going to work some of it out when we uh, do the sanding on it. But we want to try to get as many of those creases out as possible 
so we have less sanding that we, needs to be done. Especially with a piece like this, you got to kind of watch that the center of balance isn't also getting thrown off. Um, you know, with the monies, their legs are very like close together, so their center of balance is very close. So the slightest thing is going to kind of send them toppling. Um, so just keep that in mind. So if I stand him up. He's not falling over, um, which is great. So another thing for when I was putting the um, hat on, something I had to uh, keep in mind. Go back over it real quick and make sure that it's somewhat flattened. Um, you know, I find that there's perfection and imperfections, but we don't want too many imperfections to the point it looks sloppy. Alright, check both sides, make sure that they are the same color, looks good to me. Go ahead and take the bit we had left over, I'm going to mix it in. Go ahead and wet this a little bit more. You don't want it soaking wet, um, just the tips of your fingers should be enough. You just don't want it super sticky to your gloves. start applying it. I think that looks pretty cool. Almost looks like a ant rabbit, but that's fine.
and you don't have to spend a ton of time on uh, flattening this out if you are a fan of sanding some people enjoy sanding I don't hate it but I much rather get it right on the first go so I don't have that much sanding to do at the end of the day no matter what you do you're probably gonna have to sand it also before we get to the topic of sanding make sure you have a respirator if you are sanding because everything that comes off of your sculpture is going to go into your lungs and all of these little like um, as you see this is pretty pretty soaking wet here um, you'll see that like there's some waves and stuff make sure that you're you know pulling them all in one direction for the most part that stuff will just dry and go away but uh, if you have it going in all different directions then you might run the risk of uh, getting kind of a weird looking pattern going on in your sculpt I think it's about the best we're going to get. We'll just have to sand the, sand out some of the imperfections. Cause just like anything, you mess with it enough, you're going to mess it up even more. Um, I am noticing that this side is uh, a lot thinner at the base. So let's go ahead and kind of just pull up the clay up a little bit. Alright, like I said, they look pretty good, the more I keep messing with it, I'm just going to break it. Alright, so now we can put the, the, stripe, uh, the strap on his hat, and as you can see I set him down, he is kind of top heavy at this point, so be extremely careful um, I'll probably just lay him on his back And one thing we might do is, since the antennas are making him kind of top heavy, we might put like a, a thorax on the back of him. That'll kind of weigh him down backwards. Make him a little bit more uh, able to stand. But we'll see exactly how crazy it gets for his um, ability to stand. I'm going to go ahead and wet it. It's getting kind of tacky. So I'm going to put it down here on the mat. Go ahead and 
get it shaped out to a, a ribbon. wet this down because <laughs> obviously this is sticking very intently to it so let's try to grab up all we can here be long enough. Alright, looks like we've worked the crease out, so we're just going to go all the way around here. We're just dealing with the excess that we had here, trying to get it front. I'm just going to go over it with my finger underneath it. And again, if you start to notice like any fissures or cracking or anything like that, just go over it with a little bit of water.
like I said before, there are tools that you can get, silicone tools that um, that you can use to get in here and you know range things how you like. But uh, fortunate enough that like for the most part, my fingers can get in everywhere. Now that the antenna have managed to dry a little bit, I'm just going to come over here, the one that was giving us trouble, try to smooth it out a little bit. Seeing some shadowy spots that probably need a little TLC. So far, so good. All right, we are uh, nearing the end of the video though. So what I'm gonna do is uh, we will do the aphid as a separate um, build and see how that goes. If you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. See you guys in the next video.